Mark Aikens with Ducks Unlimited Canada. I'm a conservation program specialist with ducks out of the Regina office uh, and we handle winter wheat program. Uh, ducks Unlimited and winter wheat have had a long uh, history together. In the early 90s, Ducks Unlimited realized that there is nest success uh, benefits to having winter wheat in a producer's rotation. Winter wheat produces more ducks because there's an attractiveness level because when ducks come back in the early spring they see that green material there and will go and nest in those areas uh, prefer, prefer that to other other areas potentially also because that crop has been seeded uh, in the fall time and not in spring the nests aren't disturbed the ones that have started in early spring aren't disturbed and the third one is as the crop is seeded in the fall time and starts growing very early there's a the crop is larger at an early stage and there's an opportunity for the for the nests to be hidden from predators so what that means overall is an increase in nest success nest success in winter wheat is increased uh, you get one successful nest in every 300 acres or so in a spring sown crop with winter wheat that may be increased to one every 20 or 30 acres in winter wheat because of that initial success increase because there's not the nests aren't being disturbed and also the the nests that are initiated can hide from the predators so also we realize that there is uh, economic advantage for producers to grow the crop because the of the yield advantage of winter wheat and the, some opportunity to miss some pests because of the the winter cycle of winter wheat you can avoid wild oat chemical potentially uh, wheat midge sawfly and things like that so there's potential for good net return for growers to try winter wheat here in Western Canada we really don't have the culture of growing winter crops so that's what Ducks Unlimited is out there trying to do uh, to get producers to realize that putting some fall seeded crop in the rotation is a benefit for them and also there's this added uh, benefit for conservation as well so we feel that it's a it's a win-win product for producers and and uh, the environment so since the early 90s we've been involved in helping the breeding programs in Western Canada so we can going forward we can stay uh, we can keep incre increasing that yield advantage or keeping up with with other spring seeded crops and also making sure that we have producers using the proper agronomic practices to make sure that they do grow more winter wheat than they do spring crops and usually that that there is a significant yield advantage up to 40 percent over spring seeded cereals so the the yield advantage is very significant and uh, our job is just to make sure that producers stick to the production practices they need to do uh, to get a good crop established in the fall and then manage that crop for optimum yield throughout the season and they they can have great potential with winter wheat. Western Canada I think winter, winter crops just haven't been part of our culture uh, like you say Ontario that's something that people know to do and Western Canada it's more of a culture thing uh, so we're trying to get the crop out to producers and we're changing minds one grower at a time pretty much and and it generally speaking uh, we haven't found that one area of the prairies is is more suited to winter wheat often each area uh, maybe the advantages for a different reason but we find that it fits very well in, in all areas uh, some areas that the dry out in, in the late summer we're finding that winter wheat because it's early has an advantage because then the crop is uh, is off so it doesn't need that last rain in August like all your spring crops do other areas for example in a year like this that are that are very wet in the spring uh, you you don't have to get onto the land to seed the crop so that's an advantage in a, in a season like that and in those areas where it's really wet a crop with with the genetic yield potential of winter wheat yield advantage can be can be very high but for a number of reasons winter wheat works it just it doesn't seem like people have we don't have the history of doing it so it, it takes a while to to uh, to get producers to realize that it's a good option